Number 10, Tidal Power. This type of energy is harnessed from the subtle movements of water waves. This source of energy has advantage in that it's almost infinite. As long as water moves in the oceans you will be able to harness energy from it. Number 9, Antimatter. Antimatter is an enemy of matter. When matter and antimatter collide they cancel each other out and release a massive amount of energy. Capturing and storing this energy can provide cheap and reliable energy. Antimatter is not science fiction as it has been already produced in labs but in small amounts. Number 8, Fuel Cells. Fuel cells generate energy using hydrogen and oxygen and emit zero pollution. The problem with this type of energy is that most hydrogen we have on Earth is in water and in order to get that hydrogen out would require to spend energy. It's therefore expensive and inconvenient. Number 7, Wave Power. Unlike the tidal power which gathers energy from waves in the water wave power gathers energy from waves on the surfaces of the water just like ones you see on the beach. Since waves keep coming soak in wave power. Number 6, Nuclear. Nuclear energy is not new, we have used it for many years already but new technologies are making it cheaper and more efficient. Although very dangerous nuclear energy is by far the most efficient energy source we have today and will be for a long time. Number 5, Wind Power. Many countries are already building massive wind power farms to generate clean energy. The problem with wind power is that wind power plants don't generate enough energy to justify their price tag. Number 4, Biomass. Biomass energy involves extracting energy from organic matter. The energy is extracted by burning organic matter. This makes biomass less attractive than other sources of energy because energy is needed to make it. However, many countries are adopting biomass energy as one of their primary sources. Number 3, Hydroelectricity. Hydroelectricity gets energy from moving water. Dams are often used to gather hydroelectricity but there are many other ways to produce hydroelectricity. Number 2, Coal. Being one of the most abundant resources on the planet coal won't lose its place as the number one source of energy around the world. What makes coal such an attractive source of energy despite it being a major pollutant is because coal is so abundant and cheap that it can supply the world's energy needs for another 300 years. Number 1, Solar. The sun will hopefully keep shining and it would be a waste not to use the sun's energy. Solar energy will become the fastest growing source of clean energy in the next 50 years. Solar panels are becoming cheaper every year and soon enough people will be able to buy solar panels for a lower price and install them on the roof of their houses to receive their own energy.